of a landscaping you have there. Awesome. So one more Marvel. <laughs> well, it's a Marvel and it's a DC story. That's true too. Um, we're going to be we're at least as of right now, we're going to be getting Marvel versus DC directly in the theaters. Nice. With Captain America three opening the same day as Batman vs. Superman. We've been talking about this. I, I, like, I know I've been talking this with, with Missy, and, and, and we're, we're pretty much expecting to do a double, uh, a, a double feature day for that. I think that's going to absolutely destroy box office records for like two movies just doing ridiculous on one day. They have to really kick ass with uh, Captain America 3, though. I... I think they'll i think they'll absolutely kick ass with captain america 3 i think they absolutely will because you don't know what you're getting with batman versus superman that's true like like they've they've announced batman wonder woman lex luther like they're just dc's just trying to cram everything in there and <laughs> all of these are going to be new portrayals of the character and Captain America is like, hey, I'm still here. Hi, how you doing? And and at this point, you got to also think there's going to be an established character, as long as they haven't flubbed Avengers 2 or something, there's going to be an established character that has been featured in no less than four movies by the time this yep. Captain America 3 comes out versus a second movie in a series with a completely, what the heck is Ben Affleck going to be like as Batman? So I think it's, you're right, it's going to be very, something very, very, holy crap, established and already broken box office and been introduced to an audience to a, a kind of a new new ish entity in the long run i know it's going to be several years away but it, it, and we'll be familiarized i know in ads and stuff but but it, it is it is like franchise versus franchise and right now that marvel franchise is a lot stronger i think than dc oh hell yeah so yeah definitely movie wise yeah movie wise animation wise i'd say they're about equal footing depends on what I'd you're talking DC. about because because well, uh, just animation as a whole I, B, dc probably has yeah yeah a slightly bigger advantage because their animated movies have been really good but their shows they keep canceling them left and right yeah so but i honestly i as much as i would love to see both of these come out in the same day i don't think it's gonna happen you think there? You think I, somebody's? I, you think somebody's gonna back down? You think somebody's gonna flinch in this? In this? Uh, in this? Uh, 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 issue? I think absolutely, and I think that's gonna be DC. <laughs> I, I I truly, honestly think that because DC had already moved Batman vs Superman like up a whole year, like back a whole year. So I think they wouldn't mind, you know. Because they want, they want to be that big box office, and they know going against Captain America, it's at the at the worst, gonna split the audience.